So out of all the characters, the Bulls Pass is probably the hardest, just because he has three separate phases, and the last phase can be really difficult if you're not familiar with it. So in this guide, I'm going to briefly cover the first two phases of the fight, and then talk about the best way to approach King Cannon in the last phase. Alright, so since fighting both Chain Gunners at the same time is really annoying, uh, what you can do is bomb rush the first Chain Gunner as fast as possible, and then just kill him really quickly. So what you want to do is, between your Blasphemy Swings, you want to use your dodge roll to do damage. Because uh, your dodge roll actually does 15 damage as well. So if you do this correctly, and you weave in your dodge roll between each swing, you should be able to kill the first Chain Gunner uh, before it even gets to attack you. And then from there on, it should be easy. So Gundam only really has three attacks. The first is this wave that they shoot at you. This is pretty easy to avoid. All you need to do is stay far away from a Gundam and then dodge roll through an opening that you see. So be careful not to dodge roll too early, otherwise you might dodge roll onto a bullet. But once you see an opening, you should be able to dodge roll through the rest. Uh, for the second attack, when they shoot lightning at you, all you need to do is jiggle your character left and right uh, really quickly. Uh, this will kind of force the lightning to make a direct course for you. And then when after they shoot the lightning, just dodge roll to the left or the right and you should be good to avoid it. Uh, the last attack is this ball that you have to reflect back and forth. Uh, I don't think I need to talk too much about this, but as long as you're not being too impatient and you carefully watch the ball, you should be good. Sometimes the ball can kind of move to the left or the right, so be prepared to move around a little bit, but for the most part, this should be easy to block. In general, you want to stay about a medium distance away from King Cannon. This is to help avoid attacks like the attack where he shoots direct lines of bullets at you, but also you don't want to be too far so that you can actually close the distance and hit him. So there are two easy ways to do damage to Cannon. The first are when he flies around the arena. You can generally fit in a few hits when he lands on the ground. The other way is when he does this attack where he shoots bullets in a circle around his hand. You can dodge roll toward him when the bullets start expanding and generally fit in around 3 or 4 hits. Uh, when the bullets start coming back together, just dodge roll out and then dodge the waves of bats that come out toward you. So his last attack is when he slams his ass into the ground and the spiral comes out. This should be really easy to avoid if you're not staying really close to him, like I said before. Um, later on in the fight, the spiral does get a bit wider, so make sure to keep an eye on where it's going. You can still do damage to him while the spiral is out, just make sure that you don't walk into one of the bullets, or that the bat that goes around the screen hits you. Uh, as long as you keep an eye on it, you should be okay. Alright, so this is going to be the full demo of the fight. So remember what I said about the, the two chain gunners in this room? We're gonna bum rush the first one and try and kill it as fast as possible using our uh, attack and our dodge roll. So here we go. We're just gonna run for this guy. There we go, so that's the first one down, just like that. And now we can kill the second one really easily. Yep, just like that, really easy. So just bum rush one of them and then the second one should be really easy to kill, just like that. So part two is the Gundam. So just stay in the back of the arena to get as much distance as possible. So you're moving to the left, we're just going to go over here. Move left and right really quickly. See, easy dodge on the lightning. Just like that. Alright, so now we just deflect this ball back at him. Easy. Left and right really quick. And dodge roll. See, very easy guys. Alright, again. And dodge roll through this. Alright. Reflecting again. Oh, that's not- Oh, I forgot he has this attack, actually. Yeah, that attack is really easy to avoid, too. Just dodge that. Alright, so... Lightning again. We just dodge roll through it. We dodge roll through this. And then... More lightning. Just get out of the way. Alright, reflect part two. So he's gonna reflect for a second phase this time, and easy. All right, so the last phase is five reflex, so make sure to keep an eye on that one. But for now, this is just the same as before, you just keep dodge rolling to the left and right. 
can avoid this attack. Yep, can just dodge roll up, up. I like to dodge roll up towards the top of the arena, but you can dodge roll either way, honestly. Alright, so this is 5 Reflex, so they get a little faster every time. Keep Just keep your eye on the ball and you should be okay. So last one. Just like that. Alright, so now for the last part, the hard part of the fight. Alright, so remember what I said, the best way to attack is when he flies around or when he does like that bullet spin. So if you keep that in mind, you should be fine. Get a few hits at the start. Alright, so he's doing this attack. We just stay away from him. Just don't don't, don't mess with that. Alright, so he's landing, so we hit him a few times. He's doing this attack, so we can roll in here. Hit him four times. Get out. Alright, so he's flying again. We hit him a few times here. Alright, wait for the bullets to move out a little bit and get closer. Hit him a few times. Roll out. Very easy, guys. Just repeat that over and over and you should be good. Alright, so get away from him because he's doing this again. And you can see this this bat wave is getting a little further every time. Oh, I just walked into that. Oops, my bad. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to that. So that I messed up there, but yeah. Uh, so roll in here again. And hit him a few times. This is the this is by far the easiest the easiest attack for to punish. So just try and hit him on that one. Alright, he's doing these direct wave attacks. This is why you don't want to stand too close to him, is because they can come out kinda quick. So he's doing this again. Just dodge roll in, get three hits in. Get out. And we still have our blinks, so we can use these whenever we want, honestly. You can honestly blink the uh, spiral attack if you feel like that would help. Alright, so he's doing this again. We just dodge roll when he'll move out. Easy. Like so. Get out. Yep, just dodge roll the bats. You can roll through the bats if you want. It helps as well. Alright, so he's doing this. We're just going to wait for the bullets to move out again. Very easy, guys. Just rinse and repeat. I'm only going to risk two hits because I don't want to take damage. But yeah, uh, try and avoid the pits if you can as well. Obviously, you don't want to get hit by one of those. But it's honestly, the pits aren't really a huge deal in this fight. All right, he's doing this again. We just wait for him to do his spiral attack. All right, so keep an eye on this bat. You can blink that if you want to, but it's not a huge deal. All right, we can get in here again. Get out. Very simple, guys. Just rinse and repeat. Alright, so watch this bat. We don't want to get hit by this. Alright, we're good. If you can only hit two times this one. Alright, so just keep waiting. Yeah, so this fight is definitely just a patience test, guys. It's all about endurance. Alright, so he's doing this again. Very easy. Like so. He's doing spirals again. If you do want to use your blinks, I'd recommend blinking that attack. Just because it's the uh, most annoying to deal with, especially later on. Because it can cover a big part of the arena. And it can kind of come from off screen as well. So I'll just recommend blinking that attack if you had to. Alright, he's doing this again. Alright, get out. Very easy. And he should be, he's almost dead, so we almost have this in the bag. Alright, so this should probably be the kill here, actually. One, two, there we go. So yeah, if you just follow these steps, you should have a easy time. I did get hit once, because I wasn't really looking, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully this guy helped you out. Thanks for watching.